The Biden-Harris administration announced Monday they are, quote, proud to recognize the International Day Against Homophobia, Transphobia, and Biphobia, end quote, which was observed Monday, May 17. Now, the majority of Americans, including Christians who believe the Bible, need not apply. As American citizens are concerned about important topics, such as the economy, government spending, taxes, gas shortages, some schools are still closed, health care, the southern border crisis, Rona virus propaganda, threats to our freedoms, turmoil in the Middle East, China, Russia, racial and political division, and a complicit one-party media, Joe Biden's handlers stress their commitment to the very important issue of standing with the LGBT community. I'm David Fiorazzo, and this is Christ and Culture. So during the Obama administration, Joe Biden pledged his allegiance to the radical left and is now using the power of the presidency to unleash an even more godless agenda. He keeps believing the lie that keeping boys out of girls' bathrooms, locker rooms, and women's sports is discrimination. Biology is unjust, so just follow the science. (laughs) In his statement, Biden boasted about making, quote, historic appointments of LGBTQIII individuals to the highest levels of our government. He also added this. We continue to implement my executive orders to advance equality and equity, and I continue to urge Congress to pass the Equality Act, which would confirm critical civil rights protections on the basis of sexual orientation and gender identity for all Americans. End quote. Now, we reported on the Equality Act several times right here, and you need to understand how extreme and unconstitutional this is, but they keep pushing it. Now, notice that Biden is going through executive orders like toilet paper, signing an already historic amount of them. Now, a Republican president doing the same thing would be called a dictator, and his governing by pen would be challenged constantly by liberal media activists. So what effect do these LGBTQ appointments and Biden's declarations have on the nation? Well, someone who knows better than most is Colorado cake artist and business owner, Jack Phillips. He's back in the news because he has a brand new book coming out in a few weeks. It's called The Cost of My Faith, How a Decision in My Cake Shop Took Me to the Supreme Court. Now, in a recent interview with CBN News, Philip, he explained that his reasoning for why he couldn't in good conscience design and bake a cake for two men celebrating their gay marriage. He said this, by the way, go ahead. The Bible is pretty clear that God made uh, male and female and he joined them together in marriage and marriage was his design, his idea. I'm not smart enough to do anything like that. And he uh, created it unique and special between a man and a woman and uh, any other view of that would go against biblical principles. He also said that one of the commissioners told him religious freedom was, quote, a despicable piece of rhetoric used to justify things like slavery and the Holocaust. Really? Now, don't forget that the Colorado Commission gave Phillips an ultimatum. Either bake the gay wedding cake or stop making cakes altogether. Get out of business, Jack. So much for tolerance. The leftist commission also ruled Jack Phillips staff go through mandatory re-education to teach them that the baker was wrong and that believing the Bible is discriminatory. Well, thankfully, the Supreme Court ended up ruling in his favor and on the side of religious freedom. But Joe Biden Democrats think that was wrong and Phillips should have been punished. This administration won't think twice about discriminating against you and me if we resist. Now, think about this for a minute, how our founders, our early presidents in America, or patriots would react if they heard a U.S. president deny God, creation, the Bible, and promote being lesbian, gay, bisexual, transgender, queer, or whatever. Imagine. Wow. Anyway, finally, in catering further to the radical left, Biden also stated this. Everyone is entitled to dignity and equality, no matter who they are, 
whom they love, or how they identify. And we will continue to engage with allies and partners to advance the human rights of LGBTQI plus people here at home and in all corners of the world. Dignity for all, yes, but they've redefined equality and equity. Notice that. Pay attention from now on. Again, a majority of Americans need not apply. An overwhelming majority. They mean, the Biden administration means special rights, not equal rights. Also notice, he almost alludes to a war, saying the Biden administration will engage with allies to advance this agenda, right? So my question is, what about the human rights of Christians, conservatives, independents, Republicans, and other Americans who don't go along with this, who actually believe in science and biology? We are reaping what we have sown in elections in America for decades now. This is the fruit. And this is what happens when one party thinks our rights come from government and not from Almighty God. Hey, please remember to check out my brand new book, Canceling Christianity. It's been number one on Amazon in religious intolerance and persecution categories. Appreciate your support. And God bless you. Keep speaking the truth about things that matter.